Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another commentary, man. But this is not my gameplay. I got my man today with me, my opponent. I guess you, I guess you would call it opponent. I don't, don't want to really call it <laughs> opponent because it's not like we. Listen, it sounds like we're fighting it out to the death or something like that. All we're doing is making videos, and hopefully both of us can get some more recognition than what we already have. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is, man. So the March Madness Tournament is coming up. Me and my man, Ridiculously Ricky. I mean, I don't know why I keep calling you Ridiculously Ricky. It's Ridiculously <laughs> Danny. I, I don't know. I guess Ridiculously Because I look like Rick Roll. That's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that might be what it is, man. But I keep wanting to call, like, every time I've said, I've said Ridiculously Ricky. I mean, Ridiculously Danny. I don't even know. I guess Ridiculously Ricky would be kind of like a, a cool name or something. Maybe somebody's going to steal that and they'll, uh, they'll uh, some, uh, surface on YouTube tomorrow or something and have a name like that. But, you know, it's all good, man. But, anyway, I saw that you were going to be that, – that we'd be going against each other, I guess you would say. And, mm -hmm. I, you know, I went by checked out your channel. I actually subscribed to your channel because I was like, hey, my man, it's pretty cool. You know, you're down-to-earth kind of guy. Um, and, you, you know, you just – you know I mean, like like everybody has their own different appeal. People would think that people just like me are going to appeal to me, but I have I, people appeal to me from I like just just like everybody, like all different commentators appeal to me. And though you and I are not the same exactly, we're not so far apart when you look at it because I mean, we both talk about the game, but we tell the people about things in our lives too and it's just we're just having fun with it. I mean, just like a couple of cats having fun. I think that's the thing that, that I really liked about your channel. I'm, I don't know, but uh, I, I'm talking too much, man. What, what What's up with your channel? Like, tell, Why don't you tell the people more about your channel? All right, thanks. And uh, don't make it out that we're too friendly. I mean, we are opponents after all. We're arch enemies. <laughs> <laughs> we got to make this serious, man. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just playing. Your, your channel is real good. Yeah, I, I looked at yours, too, when I found out I was... Facing you, and I was like, "Oh, oh dear, right. this guy's way too charismatic. <laughs> I can't deal with this guy. Um, I'm way over my head." But I think that, yeah, our our approach to gameplay is that we don't talk about gameplay just solely, and that we really have fun with it. But I think that I've gone more the serious route because I don't have that voice that makes people jump out of their seats, whereas you do, and you can kind of just take your own spin on things. And I, I go on the more political route. Right. But I think that's where we just deviate. Yeah, but I mean, you know, like I said, everybody has their own style, and 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 it is, it appeals like I don't know, it's like there is no universal style that appeals to everybody across the board. I wish to God there was. I've been trying to find it. I think we all have been trying to find that, but I, it just it just does not exist, and that's like one of the most yeah. important things that I always tell people. When they ask, because I know you probably get a lot of messages every day also, and they say, "Yeah, how did you get so many subscribers? How do you get so many subs? You're like, yo, I'm just, I don't even know. I just started putting up videos because I saw somebody do it, and I'm thinking, I'm sure you did the same thing that I did. Say, I can do that. And you know, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and you start doing it, and you're like, yo, you got your own spin, and oh my goodness, people are watching me now, and then it's like 10 subscribers, 20. Oh my goodness, uh... Uh, the 38 views on this video aren't all mine anymore. You know, it's just like it, 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 it gets. It was so exciting at the beginning when I got my first like 10 views. I was like, "There's 10 other people out there that watch this video. That is fantastic." Exactly. And it, and it's great. Yeah. It's great though. But like well, as you grow and you mature in in the whole thing, I think uh, I think like a lot of people like the the lumps. I guess is the is the stage that we're both in right now, where you're just taking your lumps. You're like you you're not gonna. We're at that uh, tweener stage. You know, you're like. Yeah. You have enough subscribers, but you're trying to figure out how to get over that next hill. Now, I'm, I'm over a different hill because I think right before Black Ops came out, I was right where you were. Not not even really fur, much further along, so it was like, it was like, how do I get over that hill? Like, every, it's not like you get a thousand subs. Like, everybody thinks, I get a thousand yeah. subs and I'll be set. And it's like, damn, it's a different hill every time. So, like, in a, yeah. in two months, you'll have about three, 4,000 subs, and you'll be thinking, how do I get to 10,000? But, but <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, it'll, but it'll, it'll be subconsciously, like, like even though, like, uh, like I don't, we don't, you know, you don't look at it every day, but it's, it's just like, wow, like, how do I get to the next level? And yeah, I think the thing is, uh, one thing, and not, not to be hogging the, the conversation, but I think the thing nah. is with this that, that kills me the most is there is no natural progression like like throughout throughout my whole life, I went to you know Head Start, um, regular uh, grade school, middle school, uh -huh. high school, college, 
job, job, better job, better job. And now <laughs> I get to do this. And it was, it's, there is no natural progression. Like there's, if I get to 20,000 next week, there's no guarantee I'll get to 30,000 ever. So yeah. that's like the hardest thing to deal with is there is no natural progression in the whole thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's so dependent on so many other people at oh this point. Goodness. that it's Yeah, it's like partly just about being seen. It's partly about continuing to put out good content. And it's just, I don't know, it's partly about the luck of the draw. Who else is getting bigger yep. while you're staying at the same rate? That's right. I, I definitely get that feeling. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But, you know, I think and, and I think bringing that back to the to the March Madness contest, I think it's a great idea. Like I said, it, 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 at first it was just supposed to be, you know, just bigger commentators kind of, you know, slugging mm -hmm. it out. But then I think yeah. it's great what they did, where they, where they wanted to bring in some smaller channels and, and, you know, get the exposure because I think this is probably going to be the shot in the arm that you need and that I need, that we both need, really, to just try to take it to whatever that next level is. And, um, yeah. you know, because I was, I was looking at one video and you were like, you know, uh, I think the best thing is when somebody's not afraid to tell people, if you don't like what I'm doing, it's cool. You can unsubscribe. That's fine. You know, I, I think that's always good when you can tell people, like, I'll be doing this for the next um, for the next few weeks. You know, I'm taking my channel in a different direction. It's not going to be all Call of Duty. It's going to be some other things. And, and you know, I mean, if you don't like it, that's certainly fine. But if you do, I hope you guys stick around. And, like, when you were, when, when I saw you weren't afraid to tell people that, I was like, wow, my man, got, he, he, he has something here because that showed me that you are confident, confident enough in what you do to not be dependent on on the subs. Now, of course, I like I have subs like my man Binary State of Mind uh -huh. and all of those. Of course, you know the yeah. people that you recognize no matter what. Uh-huh. But um for sure. But you know like you you certainly hope they don't go away. But at the same time, you you hope that you are with your new direction. If I lose 5 subs, maybe this is going to net me 500. And <laughs> and you have yeah. to think that way. And I, and I you have to yeah. Otherwise, you get depressed when your channel just keeps on like slowly, slowly de decreasing, or if it just stays at the same rate. You're right. like, I, "What am I doing? I'm I'm doing all my good stuff, and people aren't reacting to it." And right. so, you just have to start over, or you just have to be like, "You know what? I'm not going to close my channel because that's not going to get me anywhere. Exactly. I'm not going to get frustrated, but I am going to take it another direction. I hope people start watching again." Right. And 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 they will start watching again. It's not that that like a lot of people call them dead subs. It's not that they're dead. It's that there are I have 200 channels on my television. I can't watch uh -huh. every one of them every day. Like I uh, yeah. and and I watch Sports Center almost every day. But I'm looking at it like let's say you are somebody's ESPN. Even the most avid sports fan doesn't watch ESPN every day. So you can't expect your subscribers, every subscriber to watch every single video. Um, no. It's like I used to listen to a show here in Atlanta, the Two Live Studios. When I'm in my car, I used to listen to them every day at work, and then I started getting busy at work. I don't listen to them anymore. But if I'm in my car when the show is on, I'm going to I'm going to listen to it. So I think a lot of it is also like what time of day you put videos yeah. out, and it's just, it's just it's just luck of the draw. And eventually, uh -huh. your main subs do get to all of your videos, but you know uh -huh. it's 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 the I guess you'd say the more casual fan. Is, um, yeah, yeah. That that's that's what it is, and it's nothing wrong with that. I'm I like having casual fans. You gotta have casual uh -huh. fans as well as hardcore fans. So, you know. <laughs> definitely. It just it's another random factor that's like it just makes you question what you're doing, and then you have to just realize, you know, it's not just you. It's people have lives as well. Right. And unfortunately, it's some sometimes it's the best subscribers that have the the most amount of stuff that's that's getting in their way to watching your videos. Exactly. <laughs> and 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 that just shows that um. Uh, Hey, but if you have things that are getting in your subscribers' way, then that just shows that you appeal to a to an older audience. And and uh -huh. for the most part, you know that's that's who that's who I'm. I think I appeal to like right at between 17 and on up. Like I really don't appeal to the to the younger younger guys that are, that are like 13, you know, and 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 down. So like. You know, it, it's it's. Yeah, I think it's. it's just, I bore the hell out of thirteen-year-olds personally. <laughs> exactly, but, but they don't have any. No, they have no attention span, and 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 yeah. that's okay. But because I think I was the same way at that age. But um, I, I, it just it just shows that we know what they're thinking. I don't have anything for someone that's that's younger unless they yeah. do like me because they just like my charisma. There there is something that a lot of people yeah. of all ages do like about everybody. But you mm -hmm. know, I, I just think that. I think this contest is going to be really good, man. I just wanted to be like, like we were supposed to talk about sportsmanship, but I don't even think we have to talk about that because they, they can no. see that we're both 
Good Deploying sports them. about it, and no matter what, you know, I want to try to do a couple more things with you, and just, just, Our just both of us stay in touch and and see how this thing goes. And I mean, you know, uh, I like I said, I didn't even know I was in the contest because I wanted, <laughs> I kept bowing out and saying, yourself, yo, let this guy take my place, let this uh, other guy take my place, my man ASO Gamer and everybody else. But they ultimately put me in, and I was like, okay, well, I'm in. I'll, I'll give it my all. I just. Uh -huh. I just, you know, I, I I just wanted to make sure that that everybody would um that everybody got a fair shake that I felt like did a lot of good work and I'm glad that you yeah. are, you know, I'm glad that you're in the contest. So tell the people okay. about what you do on your channel, man. I talked I talked the whole time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I enjoyed hearing you. No, and I think you I think you portrayed like both of our channels pretty well. Oh no, I, I I'm as as you are. I'm really glad to be in the competition. I think my my choosing was more just luck of the draw. Right. I, I just entered kind of on a whim and I was like, you know what, I think I'll put up a video and tell my subscribers, you know, thumbs up my comment so they can see it. Right. And they did. And I mean, it was like 13 people that could actually find my comment, but it was still, you know, 13 thumbs up. So there we go. I think that that had something to do with um, Ukrainian limbs actually looking at my video. And then I guess he saw a video that I did, which is called one of the best Black Ops games ever or something something really dramatic like that and um it was pretty good gameplay i think i i spiced it up a little bit with commentary and um it ended up getting me in and i did actually didn't know until the the you know the subscribe or the selection sunday video on Woody's channel came up and i didn't watch that video until like a day after so <laughs> it was a whole you know I, I didn't i was being told by my subscribers on the next video i put up that i was actually in the competition i was like oh Great, <laughs> right, and that's that's how I was too. Cause uh, somebody came on to my page and they were like, "Yeah, kick ridiculously Danny's ass." I'm like, "What the hell are y'all talking about?" And I looked over there, I was like, "Wow, I was in the contest." And I was like, "You know what? Let me let me go talk to my man." And um, and you know that's when I that's when I sent you the message. And I said, "You know, we I think we should really do something before the contest to show yeah. everybody that we are not like it, it makes no sense to you. We we're not gonna be at each other's throats. We just two, we're just not that kind of people. Yeah. Exactly, we're two guys." We're coming out, and regardless of what happens and how it goes, it was a great opportunity, I'm, and I'm I'm uh -huh. I'm grateful for it. Even if, because you know I I, I shout out people's channels all the time, and I try to get other people exposure all the time. So uh -huh. I'm just glad that some that the the powers that be, the higher ups, I guess you'd say, I have you know they wanted to, they they put on something like this so everybody can share some of the love. So, yeah, yeah, and I'm really impressed that they actually did look at like 2,000 videos. That yeah. that blows my mind. I, I I guess you're friends with Ukrainian Limbs. I yeah. actually hadn't heard of him until before this comp um, this competition. <laughs> to be honest, he really, really, really worked hard, and he was really, really, really kind of stressed about the whole thing, having to look look for people, and he's competing too. I mean, he he's done a lot of work on it. I think he said the selection Sunday took him about 10 hours to do, and he just. I mean, he went to town on it, man. It was great, though. It came yeah. out great, and I'm glad. He, and, and now he has to turn around and compete. And a lot of people are saying, you know, uh, well, how can he compete if he's in? Well, he's not a judge. It doesn't matter if he competes. Yeah. He just, he's just doing. He's just having thing. fun like the rest of us. Exactly, <laughs> and that's what it's all about. If we just have fun and worry less about all the the end games, you know, the uh, everything else. If we worry less about that, and all of us just have fun, I think all of us will come from this contest. With not just, not just you know, gotten a little subs or get, get more, get more views. I think we'll all come away with just the notion that hey, there are guys in the community. They're not that bad. Nobody's bad. We're all good. We're all just trying to do the same thing, and and everybody can come together and help each other in some way, shape, form, or fashion. If we can, if if, if a few people just come away with that, I think we'll be good to go. Oh yeah. Okay, I agree with that. Did we end on that? That was yeah, like a great statement. Yeah, man, you gotta end on that note. And I know a lot of people think, who the hell is this guy that's talking with ridiculously Danny because he sounds nothing like this on his channel. I know, man, but I, I try to tell people that, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. I put on the intelligent yeah. hat when it's time to, but you know, we'll end on that <laughs> note, man. Danny, it was great having you on, man. Hopefully we'll yeah. get back, uh, Probably at the end of next week, we'll do something else. Uh -huh. I think the results should be in. Or whenever the results are in, round one, we'll do it again, man. If the people want to hear it again, we'll get it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. We'll just do it again sometime soon, man. So, you know. Uh, for sure. All right. Thanks for having me on, too, and leading the conversation. It made my, my job a lot easier when you told me 
I said all my own opinion, so <laughs> it's, it's great talking to you. All right, man. All right, guys. So we'll see you guys next time. You guys go check out Ridiculously Danny's channel. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't, leave a comment and say, hey, man, you still one of the coolest guys I know because I know that's what I'll do. And uh, we out of here. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, a.k.a. the People's Champ, and Ridiculously Danny. Danny, do you even have an outro? I don't think so. I'm still too much of a noob, but I'll, I'll go with that too. All right. <laughs> I'm ridiculous, Danny, straight from the barbershop. Actually, I'm not. I, I'm I'm very long cut, but I'll see you guys later. All right, man. Holla!